Nigeria has never found itself in such a very, very critical joint in our history. Today, we have had all the negative indices as far as our country. Today, we are more disunited as a nation. We have never experienced this level of poverty. We have never experienced this state of insecurity. We have never experienced this level of unemployment. We have recognized all these negative developments in our history. What is important is how do we tackle these challenges. And this is where history and also experience beckon on us to make sure that we don't get it wrong at this point in time. Otherwise, if we get it wrong at this point in time, I don't know when we will ever get it right. I have been involved in the struggle to return democracy to this country from the military days. In fact, I can say I am even lucky to be alive. So many of my contemporaries have been murdered, have been killed in this struggle. But somehow, by the grace of God, by miracle, I have survived up to this point in time. And that's why in my brief introduction, I stated that there are five key areas that any leadership, forget about party, any leadership, whichever from political party, <laughs> must confront these five issues. And I enumerated them. I said the unity of our country is very, very fundamental. And how do we achieve the unity of our country? Is by making sure that we give every part of this country a sense of belonging. And somebody asked me, how do you give every part of this country a sense of belonging? I referred them to the situation we found in Nigeria in 1998-99 when we came into office. As a PDP party, we won overwhelmingly. We could go on and form our party, I mean our government, just based on our majority but we decided to shelve the majority and say, look, every political party must be part of our administration. <laughs> and we formed a government of national unity. No sooner we formed the government of national unity, there was calm in the country. After the calm, what next? How do we move? Then the issue of the economy came in, the issue of security came in. Because we had a consensus, we had no problem dealing with the subsequent challenges. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have had an experience. And it is that experience that I said must be brought back. Yes, must be brought back. It is only when you have this sense of belonging that you will be able to deal with, say, the issue of security. 
it is when you deal with the issue of security, then you will now come to the economy. They are my five points that are enumerated are all interrelated. From unity to security to economy to devolution of more powers. I am a product of devolved powers then. And I know what the regional governments achieved with those powers. So that's why I advocated for restructuring or development of powers to the states and the local governments. More resources, more powers to the states and also the local governments. So my five-point program was based on on experience. They were based on something that I have seen, I have participated, and I felt went well for this country. So I'm not on a trial and error leadership. So distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to address you briefly uh, at this year uh, annual conferences. I wish you every success in your deliberations. Thank you. God bless you.